find something else, you'll know it. Engravings give you no tactical advantage whatsoever. They're worth some fancy shooting. Pretty good. <laughs> Total ocelot lines from Snake Eater. Okay. <laughs> Analysis complete. Boss, how about developing something? Where is my dog at? He did not come to eat me. Letting me join Diamond Dogs. I'll give you everything I've got. What's up, boss? Awesome. Snake, are you okay? Snake! My buddy. Go to sleep. That's it. Good boy.
my god. How's it going, boss? Boss, will you train with me? Some tapes that I explore. It's probably boring as hell. The Soviet troops on the ground want to go home. Hey, listen to this but one. at least they have homes to go back to. The Afghans have lost theirs. The Soviets destroy the Kishloks, villages, wherever. That container is filled with raw materials. Looks like they're using those colored bands on the outside to tell the contents apart. Whatever's in them, they'll come in handy somehow for Diamond Dogs. If the Mujahideen are fish swimming around the villages, the Soviets will go so far as to dry out their ocean. But this has had a big price. There's bitter resentment among the Afghans, and they're taking out their anger on the soldiers on the front lines. Among the Mujahideen are the Pashtun people. They're fiercely devoted to their code of Badal, or revenge. Soviets they've captured have had their hands, feet, and noses cut off before being left to die at the side of the road, just to show their comrades what they're capable of. Friendlies who come across them can do nothing but put them out of their misery. Then they burn down another village in retaliation, and the cycle of vengeance goes on. Damn, hello far. Medical team yet. I'm still marking this. This war, the Kremlin never expected to have this much trouble against the Mujahideen. Afghanistan is a tribal society. Tradition demands that its people stand up to any outsiders who set foot on their land. With the honor of their people at stake, they have everything to fight for. No matter how hard the Soviets hit them, they continue to appear out of nowhere, striking back, then vanishing again. But there's one thing even the Mujahideen fear. Every last one of them. The Soviet gunships. They're highly maneuverable and equipped with massive firepower. Plus, the underside of the fuselage is heavily armored. The Mujahideen can barely scratch them with their small arms. Anyone who hangs around gets mowed down by the gunship's heavy machine guns. This new honeybee weapon that was given to the Hamid fighters, it's no doubt something to help them strike back against the gunships. 
which makes it a weapon that could change the course of the war. Those guerrilla fighters known as Mujahideen don't actually belong to a single organization. Afghanistan is a multi-ethnic country. You've got the Pashtuns, the Tajiks, Uzbeks, Hazaras, and each of them is split into their own tribes, large and small. Each ethnicity has several rebel organizations that their various tribes gather under. They're united under the banner of Jihad, but that doesn't mean they work like a single standing army. Just look at the area around Smasi Fort. A lot of Tajiks used to live there. But they fled after the Soviets started their scorched earth campaign. With the area uninhabited, the Hamid fighters who are Pashtun... Roger. The Hamids are based out of the city of Peshawar. We passed through it on the western edge of Pakistan. The Pashtun people have long lived in Afghanistan and western Pakistan. They used to travel back and forth frequently. Then Britain went and established the border that still stands today. The Hamid fighters get generous support from the Pakistani government. The government wants to use them to secure influence over Afghanistan. Their liaison with the Hamids is inner services intelligence, and behind the ISI, you have the CIA. That's probably how the honeybee ended up in the hands of the Hamid men. of the intel team are on the ground. The reports will be reflected as predicted enemy fields of movement on your iDroid's map. The higher the team's level, the more accurate and frequent their reports will become. Be sure to take advantage of them. Please select a mission. Alright, so that'll be it for a little while.